Hey, what is up guys? It is Swenson and I am back with another Let's Play episode. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to sort of have like two different projects in one and split the video up a little bit. Um, I actually have recorded this this video already, but I had a little issue. So the second part of the video, which is creating our XP grinder out of the zombie spawner we found in the caving episode into an XP grinder. Did I say that? I don't know. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And I unfortunately messed up with my recording system or setup. So I uh, sort of have it all set up down there. We just have to put a few finishing touches on and then we will uh, go ahead and do that. So in order to compensate for that, we are going to be doing a little filler by making this a 100% efficient cobblestone generator. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have already cleared out a decent amount of space for this uh, little thing to go. Give me a second, let me clear out a little more. There we go. So that we can throw down some redstone here. And uh, so how I'm going to do this is we're going to start by throwing a piston down right not like that. We're going to throw our piston down right there. Perfect. Alright, now, moving on. We got our redstone here. Put a piece of redstone here. And if I remember how to do this, we do this. Wait, that can't be right. There we go. That should work. Alright, now, if I remember right from past experience, <laughs> you gotta set these to, like, three or four ticks. So what I'm gonna do is send four ticks. And if I, again, if I remember right, uh, a furnace is able to stop any, a, a piston from ex or extending, so we can have a nice stopping point for our little bit of cobblestone that we are going to generate. So let's go ahead, throw it, I don't know, three blocks this way. One, two, three. Throw it there. And to kickstart this, I gotta be sort of fast about it. Boom. Well, that didn't work. Oh, duh. Sort of helps to have the full circuit for circuit to work, doesn't it? There we go. And now that'll just continually go. Um, hmm. You know, I just had an idea for that to make it even better. Just because I've had uh, those things short circuit and explode occasionally. Uh, not like kill me or explode, but you know what I mean. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... Take some stone, make another repeater, like so, come on, there we go, and I am going to do this, throw that repeater down, Ooh. throw it down there. I hope this works. I'm not sure if it will. Yeah, that did not work. Um, oh, crud. Oh well, um, if it messes up, I'll just fix it. It's not a big deal. I need this for the 
grinder anyway, I believe, so it's whatever. So let's go ahead and test it out. Beautiful. Working like clockwork. There we go. Awesome. So that is our uh, cobblestone generator. It is 100% efficient now. Uh, let's go ahead and cover it up. Make it Eh, I'll cover it up with cobblestone. Make it halfway decent looking. I think it's only fitting that it should be covered with cobblestone. Don't you? So, yeah. Let's go ahead and throw that there. See, that was, that was fairly painless, I do believe. I've had some issues with my redstone wiring in the past, so. Oh my! Eee, that was dumb. I am lucky I am not swimming in lava right now. Oh, man. See, th th this is why I... I I, I don't know how I survive in Minecraft. Oh well. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Looks sort of weird, doesn't it? These things always do when you cover them up. Oh well. I think uh, that'll do for this part of the episode. I think you guys get the point. So yeah, we will be right back after I do this little transition. Alright, hey, what is up, guys? We are back at our zombie spawner, and as you can see, the changes I've made uh, that did not get recorded. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do whatever. <laughs> do what we didn't do yet. So, as you can see, I've already dug out and evened everything out. So, what we're going to do now is place water not there, but there, the corner, and there. Grab some of that, put it there. That should do it, right? Perfect. Alright, so we grab one more bucket of water. We're gonna throw that down there. That'll bring the water all the way out to this spot, which is where the zombies will be crushed from. Alright, so we're gonna first before we place our glass, we are going to throw a piston down right there. Put out our glass, which will enable us to pick up our mob drops fail like that all right perfect so we come down here put a bunch of zombies down here they want to be crushed they're begging to be crushed um hmm just thought about something i'm gonna have a problem over this way if i don't Cut the zombies off. So I think what I'm gonna do is first do the wiring for this. Alright. So, got some redstone there. Let's go ahead and throw that there. Grab our switch, our lever, excuse me. Oh hey, that's that's easy enough. I guess. I didn't know it would that be that easy. Um Alright, now let me think about this real quick. Bring it around here. Put a block there. I'm just sort of going, thinking as I do this, so... Please pardon me. I, I didn't plan for this, because I'm stupid. Um, You know what? I don't even need that there. 
what I can do. Put a block there. Then throw the piston here, because when I extend it, let me go make a piston real quick, and I will be right back. Alrighty, so we got our piston. We're on our way back down to go ahead and fix what could be a uh, very big problem. So, yeah. Alright, now we're going to throw down our piston right there. The hope here is they'll stop any zombies that are trying to get into our little zone here from getting there. We can kill the zombies that we need. Or, ooh, but that still won't work. We're going to have to put it on a separate switch, won't we? Um, darn. Darn it. Hmm. Alright, let's do this then. We don't have a stick, do we? Dang it. I knew I should have prepared a little better for this. Darn. I'm gonna have to run upstairs, grab a stick, just to make a little lever. So anyway, I'm gonna go through my pro thought process of this again, just one more time. Oh yeah, made this little road here, going back, so. Um, the thought process behind the little stopper thing is, it's going to, the piston will extend, that'll block any zombies from being able to go through and enter our crushing chamber while we are crushing. Awesome, because we're awesome like that, because we crush. Um, and then we'll be able to collect our XP. As soon as we're done collecting the XP, we are going to be able to let the new zombies in and get more XP. So the reason why I could not let that stay the way it was is because I thought about it and if I hit the switch and then let go of the switch or let the switch go back then fresh uncrushed zombies will get into our pile of crushed zombies and we don't want that happening alright so there we go two separate circuits that'll stop the zombies and I can crush them perfect we can clean this up later on and in fact, what I'm going to do right now is like that, do that, boom, all right, perfect, cover this up, all right, there we go, awesome, that'll work just fine, so I think we got our, oh, wait a minute, stinker. Our little zombie spawner XP grinder all worked out. So now it is time to test this puppy. Ow. Villager. I, I did not know that villager zombies could spawn. Hey. Well, that was not fun. Alright, there we go. It seems to be working. Ooh. Okay, okay. Never mind. I, I got worried for a second. Okay, it's not a big deal. I got worried because uh, it seemed as though it wasn't working quite right. But it's fine. Okay, they're picking up their own brother's flesh. That's right, they can hit me there. I'm stupid. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to eat so I don't die. And then I'm going to let a bunch of zombies amass here and then come back to you and we will get on with our feature presentation so I will be right back 
Alright, so we got a few zombies. I made a couple changes because things just aren't seeming to work well with this thing. So we're going to test it out. I believe you got to count to 19 uh, noises of pain for the uh, thing to work correctly. So let's go ahead and try it. That didn't work well. <laughs> so, obviously, it's still got some bugs. I did some more patchwork, and I just can't get it right. I'll come back, and I'll deal with it later. Uh, for now, though, well, I guess we'll just have to kill him like, or something. I, I don't know. But, uh, well, it's really disappointing because I really want to fix Oh, did I see a skeleton in golden armor? Well, that's a zombie in golden armor. I gotta fight him, and I don't... Oh my. Let's go this way. Come on, creep. Come on, creep, 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 creep. Oh. Oh my. That was, that was terrifying. I didn't know what was going on. Um, anyway, so yeah, oh, ow, I'm an idiot. Alright, so that's what we're going to leave off with in this episode. Uh, as you can see, we tunnel, we went, sort of fell down into our mind, so. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, give me a like. It helps me get found on YouTube, and subscribe. So see you later.